You're at home, you get your guitar, sit down to practice, find a backing track that you want, and then you just start improvising. Is that the way that you do it? You find the key and start to improvise? Or do you look at the chords, you analyze what's happening and then start to improvise? Or even for solos, you're learning a solo, do you look what's happening with the harmony? Well, if you don't do that, today I will show you why to learn study harmony is so important and how it's gonna help you to understand better music and how it's gonna help you to improve your improvisation skills. So get your guitar and let's practice. Hey everyone, I'm Everton Zakini, and this is a common practice. Lots of students, they find a backing track, look at the key, and just start improvising. They don't look at the harmony, just sometimes they just look at the first chord and that's it. And actually, many of the backing tracks or songs that we listen to and that you really learn on the guitar, many times we had some harmonies and some chords that you make a lot of difference when you were looking to improvise over or when we're learning a solo that we can analyze and use for our own solos and improvisation. So let's understand how the harmony will influence the solos, the improvisation and the music in general. Well, the first thing is that you can analyze a chord progression, see the chords that you have and then you can aim for some notes from the chords. Even if it's the common chord progression, sometimes it's good for us to follow the notes from the chords to get a little bit more melodic feeling for the improvisation and also to have some target notes that will sound better over some chords. So the first example that I'll give you is from the solo of Stereo to Heaven from Led Zeppelin. We have the chords here, A minor, okay? So the key of the song is A minor. If you just want to improvise or just learn the solo without looking a little bit more deep inside of what's happening, we can just miss some parts that is going to make a lot of difference on the, on the improvisation. For example, on the chord progression of this song, we have A minor, G, and F. And the solo, it's basically on pentatonic scale, but some parts, Jimmy Page, targets some notes from the chords. So the first lick here, we ha already have this example. So basically, we have pentatonic scale, the A minor pentatonic scale. But the target note at the end of the phrase, he reaches an F. It's not in the A minor pentatonic scale, but it's on the A minor natural scale. So we have this lick here, but this note, the F, will match here with the F chord. So we have A minor, G and F, so the phrase. So when the chord, the harmony is on the F, he finishes on the F. If he did differently this part, and for example, instead of which the F, he resolves here on the E, which is the note inside of the pentatonic scale. This note is kind of clash, okay, with the F. So we have this E, and then here, the F chord. So this is a major seventh. So it sounds much better the root note here from the chord. So this is if you follow the harmony, it's gonna make your improvisation sound better. A good exercise for you to practice it, aiming the notes from the chords is to get some simple chord progressions that you can get the notes from each chord and play when you have that chord. For example, when you have C, you play the notes from the C major scale, C major chord, which is C, E, and G. For example, let's get the one, six, four, five, very common chord progression. When you have C, you can aim for the notes C, E, and G. A minor, the notes A, C, and E. When you have F, F, A, and C. And the G, the notes G, B, and D. When you're doing this, you don't have to play like C, A, F, and G. You can have a feel of the harmony already just playing the root notes, but you can kind of aim for in the middle of your phrases. For example, C, A minor, G, I'm sorry, F and then G. 
I just stopped here on the D. Um, this D is kind of asking for me to come back to a note from the chord. Or I can go to C or. So I can finish on the E, which is the third of the C, or C, which is the root note. So you can start just aiming for the root notes. Then you can get a uh, backing track as well, and just, just aim for the thirds. It's gonna sound very nice as well. So I will show you with a backing track how it sounds just aiming the notes from the chords. I will start with the root note, then I will play a little bit of the third. So that's the idea. You can also aim for the fifths, the notes from the chords, the triads. It sounds pretty good, all right? So let's hear how it sounds. In the root note. This is very important for you to start to visualize better the notes from the chords and also for you to start to aim some target notes to get the, a little bit more the melodies for your solos and improvisations. Now, when you're practicing, start with a backing track very slow that you have time to think. Sometimes you can play just the, the notes if it's hard to add some phrases in the middle. For example, if you want to play over the just the thirds, C, so I get the E here. Then the third of A minor, C, then the third of F, A, and the third of G, which is B. And the root here that I played C. And this, if you just play this uh, this way, you have the feeling of the harmony. So you can kind of, people that will be listening to you, even if you don't have the harmony, you can feel the harmony. All right, so now the next thing is that because sometimes you have different chords, you can have chords from borrowed chords or have some modal approach. So these ideas will help you a lot when you just when you play aiming for the chords as well. Not only for you to play chord by chord, but for you to have some moments that you can have a different feeling and a different intention on your solo. When you play this scale, it's just a sequence of notes, but it can be anything. So the harmony here, so this is very important. The harmony you guide you for your solo. The harmony you mean you be the main thing. Because if you play a scale in sequence, but the harmony that you have, it's different, can give a different example. It can be a little bit complex, but I'll show you how is it very simple when you hear it. But before, it's very important that you like this video, you give a thumbs up because it's gonna help with this video to reach more people. And also if you're not subscribed yet, subscribe to the video because it's gonna help the channel, all right? And this way I can create more content for you, okay? So let's take a look here now, the scale of C major. If you have C major scale, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. It's on the major scale. However, remember, we have relatives. Relatives are two scales that share the same notes. For example, when you have C major and A minor. When you are improvising, creating a melody, we don't, usually we don't, we don't play the scale in sequence. And also, in, we don't play in order. We will change. Sometimes we're going to start from a different note. 
So if you have a C chord. So I basically here play the scale and I didn't play the C, but it's the C major scale. But it, I know this because of the chord. Because if I play the C major scale, but my main chord is not a C, it's an A minor. You know, it's gonna change the feeling of the scale, it's gonna sound sad. And here I start from the C. But if I just add an A minor chord, That's why we need to look at the harmony always, because sometimes it's gonna change in the middle. For example, the backing track that I was playing, the one, six, four, five, there's a different part where I have a four, five, six, just to give a different feeling from the back, for the backing track. In many songs you have this, you look at the key, you can feel, okay, first chord is C major, I have some chords so I can play C major, but if the song change in the middle, just move, for example, four, minor and the chorus or in another or another part then you have to kind of follow this harmony for you to get the different feeling and follow the note that's going to be your target notes so even if it's a simple harmony look at the chords because you have to follow and it's going to enrich your melodies now another example when you have to look at the harmony is when you have maybe some modal harmony for example a minor okay there are many backing tracks you put on youtube a minor backing track and it's gonna give you a minor backing track but sometimes it can be a minor natural many times it's a a minor dorium as well so that's why you need to look it's very common some students get the backing track on a minor and then they don't look at the scale you just play the minor pentatonic which will sound very cool but if you want to maybe give a different flavor or you have a different chord that you can follow it's gonna help you to give a little bit of maybe a modal intention or emphasize some notes that will sounds and give a different touch for your improvisation. So for example, many of those backing tracks, sometimes you have E minor and G minor. Or E minor, E minor again. But many times you have a backing track with this chord progression. Uh, e minor and G7 or G9. start playing A minor pentatonic it's gonna sound nice but if you want to give a different touch a different flavor if you have the D7 here or I play the D9 but many times it's a D7 this is a common Dorian chord progression so you can sometimes give the flavor of the Dorian and you don't need to follow the chords that's the point sometimes you can just play over the so I have A minor, G7, then, then come back to A, and then I, I give the flavor of the Dorian. Because if you just play A minor, it sounds good, but if you want to sometimes change and give a little bit more surprise or change a little bit the direction of your improvisation, you can add these nuances and these notes that you make a lot of difference. So then you can add some modal flavor. It's gonna make your improvisation sounds more interesting. Even if you just play the pentatonic, just adding of the pentatonic the major six. You don't need to actually get just the Dorian mode. You just add one note because you know that you have the chord here, the D. And if you aim the third, major third of the D, which is F sharp, 
give you the sound of the mode, of the Dorian mode, and you have a different flavor. So we improvise now, I will start with A minor, which is very common, we have the backing tracks, a lot of people will just play A minor, but then in the middle I will start to add a bit more the Dorian sound, and you can feel the difference that it makes, just one note, just one interval, that you make your, you make more interesting your improvisation. Let's check it out. Just a pentatonic. flavor. Now that I improvise, you could hear when I play the minor blues scale, minor blues, minor pentatonic, and the Dorian scale. Let me know in the comments if you could feel the difference when I just add the Dorian scale, or when I just sometimes I was I was playing the pentatonic scale. However, I add the sixth. So let me know if you could feel, all right, this difference. Note the sixth that emphasize the Dorian mode. Okay, put in the comments. And also, let me know if this video helped you. And if you have suggestions for new videos for me, any question, also put in the comments. I'll be happy to create some new videos as well. Now I'll be coming back with these lessons, not every week, probably once a month or every two weeks. It's not gonna be in a regular schedule for a while, but it's gonna be nice to know what you wanna learn. And it's gonna be nice that I can create some videos for you, all right? If you want to improve your improvisation skills, if you want to learn how to give different flavors, get better with improvisation, definitely you should study more harmony. Harmony, you guide all the or solos, you'll be the main thing on songs if you want to give different flavors. And it's also going to help you to understand songs. When you look at a song, you can see what's happening and quickly see the scales, see what, what, where the song is going and how you can approach that song for you to improvise. Harmony can give you different directions. The harmony, the chord, you'll tell what the scale will be. So if it's a Dorian scale, if it's a Phrygian scale, if it's the major scale, so we need to go through the harmony first. All right, so these are the tips. I hope that it can help you. Now, if you feel that you're stuck just playing the scale up and down, you're not in the level that you are able yet to follow the harmony, you're trying to improvise and you're just playing scales up and down. If you want to start to improvise and create some melodies, some phrases on the guitar, you can check my course, the Guitar Language course, which is a course where I give you first the vocabulary, the words that you need to start to speak through the guitar. This course was thought and built for people that start to learn some phrase and start to develop their own ideas on the guitar. So that this way you can get out of the up and down from the scale and just start to improvise on the guitar. So check it out, the link in the description. That's all for today, I hope you enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like. See you next time.